Mastercam for SolidWorks takes full advantage of SolidWorks assembly files. The assembly tree shows all the individual components that are active within this assembly. The finished part file, some defeatured models used to simplify the programming process, the prepared stock, and a subassembly for the five axis fixture setup. Here, the defeatured models are created from part copies, which reference the finished part file. Any changes to the finished part file would prompt changes to the in-process models, which would then prompt changes to the corresponding Mastercam for SolidWorks toolpaths. The OptiRough toolpaths in this process reference these SolidWorks assembly components as machining geometry with a certain amount of stock to leave behind. We can also select the fixture setup to be used as an object to avoid altogether. We can create a Mastercam stock model referencing the prepared stock component in the SolidWorks assembly tree. Any changes to the prepared stock component would prompt a change to the stock model and any subsequent toolpaths that reference the stock model. The purpose of the stock model here is to accurately inform our dynamic OptiRough toolpaths of what material is left on the part. As you can see, the first OptiRough operation immediately engages with material instead of machining the open airspace around the stock model. After the first two OptiRough operations, we create an updated stock model that can be used to inform the operations that follow of what material remains. As we move through the process, the stock models will become more complex, yet there is never any wasted motion. From this point, we create more roughing operations, adding in as many stock models as needed to keep the tool motion as efficient as possible.